Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at percentage of some number equals to a quantity, and we need to figure out what that some number is. Now, we're going to do this slightly different way. So we're not going to be doing like um, converting into fraction and dividing by the number and yada, 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 which you'll learn later on. But I'm actually going to visually show you guys what this actually looks like. So because we've got nice percentages here, I'm actually going to um, kind of create a little box. And I want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 right there. All right. And the reason I've done 10 right there is because I'm going to do it like this. So that's 10% right there. And this is 20%. Now, what it says is this 20%, 20% is actually equal to 14. All right. So this little uh, green, the whole green box is actually equal to 14. That's what it actually means. Now, I actually call this the 10% game, all right? If you find 10%, then what you can do is you can actually multiply it by 10 to get the full 100%. So what are we gonna do here? If 14 is actually worth two blocks, we can actually split this up to seven and seven. Basically, what this is telling us is that 10% is equal to seven which means 100% is actually equal to 70. And now that 100% or 70 is what's going to go in here because 20% of 70 is equal to 14. So basically what we're doing is we're going 14 divided by 2 and then we're actually multiplying it by um, 100. So 14 divided by 2 because that's going to give us what the each of the green boxes and because we've got 10 boxes we're going to multiply it by 10 to get 70. So let's have a look at question B. We've got 30% of something equals 27, right? So once again I'm going to create this little lovely blue box and I know I'm going to hate it because it's just uh, so much work. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we've got 27. So basically, three of these boxes is equal to 27 because that's what 30% is. So I'm going to do 27 divided by 3, which is equal to 9. So that means each of these boxes is equal to 9. And because I've got 10 boxes altogether, 9 times 10 is equal to 90. So my answer for this question is actually going to be 90. And for question A, it was actually 70 right there. So basically this 90 here is the full length of the box and 30 is three of those boxes, which is actually equal to nine. Um, so that's just uh, one way of doing this. Uh, there is, and you know, that's the beauty of, um, especially working with uh, maths is that as you sit there kind of tinkering around with stuff, you kind of start um, figuring out your own patterns. And I guess the best way to find out these patterns is actually by doing a lot more questions on your own. Um, but yeah, like with these kind of questions, what I say is try and figure out what 10% is or figure out what 1% is. And then if you find, figure out what 1% is, then you can multiply it by 100. But if you figure out 10%, then you multiply it by 10 to get to 100%. But anyway, guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, thank you for watching.